What is good creative? Sunji from Caesar Graphics. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to achieve this hip hop TV social media flyer design. As you all know, if you need the exercise file for this tutorial, simply make use of the link in the description section of this video. Now, the part I enjoy so much in this tutorial is the part where we have the characters in different scales. I'm sure you're going to enjoy this video. So sit back, relax, and keep watching. All right, so I'm going to drag the background image from the exercise file and drop here. Then I'm going to drag the image of the TV screen and just drop that here and make that smaller. Like so, that should be here. Or let's just make it a bit bigger. It should be somewhere here. Then I'm going to hit uh, the enter key. All right, so I'm going to zoom in. All right, and um, yeah, so we need to cut out this side from the layer of the tv screen because so i'm trying to make the project look interesting so i'm, I'm going to change the angle of the tv a bit all right so i'm going to activate the free transform again now and i'm going to just rotate this and zoom out let's see what we have and this should be here and i'm going to hit the enter key so then i'm going to add a layer max to this all right then i'm going to select the lasso two here So I'm going, to, I'm going to crop this here like so and just um, switch to black here. I'm going to hold on Alt and backspace to apply the color of my foreground to the layer mask. So I'm going to hold on Control and click on the thumbnail of the TV to create a marquee shape of um, the TV. And I'm going to select the background layer. I'm going to hold on Alt and click on the new layer icon to, to activate the new layer window. And I'm going to call this shadow. All right, then I'm going to select the OK button. Then I'm going to make sure this is set to black. So I clicked on this icon to convert it to black. OK, so I'm going to apply the color of my foreground to the layer now by holding down Alt and Backspace. And then I'm going to hit Control D to take away the marquee. That's to deselect the um, marquee. And I'm going to activate the free transform. And I'm going to hold on shift and drag this down now the reason i'm holding down shift is because i'm using photoshop 2020 so if you're using the lower version of photoshop i'm sure you don't need to hold down shift so i'm just going to move this here i'm going to right click on the free transform and select skill and i'm going to just move this to this angle a bit and I right click again and select free transform hold down shift and i'm going to push this in from the side move this up a bit so then i'm going to go to filter blur and hit the gaussian blur option here it's always good to make the edges of the shadow soft so as to um, create that you know li a little bit of distance all right so i'm going to hit the ok button now and i'm going to zoom in again and just move this here then create another new layer so by holding on alt and click on the new layer icon and call this shadow 2 it's going to be shadow 2 all right then i'm going to select the brush tool all right then i'm going to change my flow to um let's say 10 all right because i want to be able to control the strength of my brush so i'm going to increase my brush size and just zoom in here and just gently apply the shadow here like so because i still want to create that distance all right so i'm just going to do that here so for this shadow here what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the layer and add a layer mask all right, then I'm going to select the brush to reduce my brush size. Now, make sure that on your brush tab here, you are on the soft round brush. When applying that brush here, also make sure you are on the soft round brush. All right, then I'm going to increase my brush size and I'm going to make sure that my foreground here is set to black. And I'm going to just apply that here. Now, you see, we're beginning to see that, you know, soft look on our shadow which is exactly what i want to achieve now this is beautiful all right then um so let's create the the wallpaper on the screen so to do that we need to first off crop the screen all right so i'm going to use the pen tool now for those of you that don't know how to use the pen tool i have a tutorial for you on that so you can just go to my channel and search for pen tool tutorial or you can use the link up here to you know navigate to the video all right so i'm going to zoom in now and i'm going to start from here all right and i'm going to click this here you can drag this here okay so we're seeing this black fill 
on our screen so i'm going to turn off my field now and just add color to my um my stroke all right so i'm going to use color that I can i can easily see okay so i'm going to move continue here all right and i'm going to click this here so it's possible that you may not have this option when you are using the pen to check if this is set to shape if this option is not set to shape you are not going to see this option on your property bar here all right so i'm just going to continue so i'm going to hold on alt and click and just continue here okay this is beautiful so what i'm going to do now is to change this to no stroke and i'll make use of the color from the project so i'm going to just select the color picker option here and just pick a color from here but i want something more you know reddish because i really want to create that attention on this uh, part of my project all right so i'm going to select the ok button and see what we have now all right now this is still not looking the way i want it but before you know we start applying the other things that we need to apply to the screen i'm going to make a new layer now and just hide this then i'm going to um make this no fill and change this to um you know i'm gonna make this gradient and on my graded option here i'm gonna use this all right and i'm gonna make my um uh, stroke um okay let's just make it three three should be okay all right so um the i'm gonna make this visible but this should be here and make this visible now okay then we are going to add inner shadow to this so i'm going to double click on the layer go under inner shadow here and no let me just move this this way so you guys can see what's going on on my screen here so uh for my distance all right i'm going to push that back and just make this real big and increase the multiply the opacity here all right so this need to go down a bit like so and i'm gonna select the okay button all right then we need to drag our logo and drop so i'm gonna drag that and drop here and this uh need to rotate um, i need to rotate this so i'm gonna just move this here like so and just make this go down and hit the enter key all right uh we need to add noise to the project so i'm going to hold down alt and click on the new layer i call and i call this noise then i'll change my blue mode here to soft light and check the fill with soft light neutral color 50 percent gray option all right then i'm going to select the ok button and go to filter uh noise and say add noise all right so i'm going to increase my noise strength like so all right let's just increase it like so and i'm going to turn off um monochromatic because i want to see this you know colorful uh noise on the face of my screen here all right so i'm going to select the ok button then i'm going to hold on control and click on the thumbnail of the wallpaper and i'm going to activate layer max on this now you see we have this on the screen and not on the uh entire frame all right so uh so the other thing we need to do again is we need to make a copy of this logo because we need to create what i call glitch effect on the logo all right so i'm going to um right click on the layer and say rasterize here all right then i'll go to filter distort and select ripple all right then um so this is okay all right um my amount is going to be 100 i'm going to select the okay button then i'll double click on the layer to activate the layer style then i'm going to turn off grain i'll hit the ok button so for this layer here i'm just going to reduce the opacity a bit yeah this is beautiful so we can even still move this out a bit all right so um this is okay so what i'm going to do now is to add the pictures of our characters all right so i'm going to do that now by going to the exercise file and i'm going to drag my first character in like so and i'm going to reduce that picture and i'm going to hit the enter key so but this needs to be above all the layers you know what let's just put this in a group all right so i shift selected all the layers and hit ctrl g to put them in a group so i'm going to call this tv all right then um 
I'm going to add the layer for now and also add this. So I'm going to select the pen tool now and change my option here to part. And I'm going to click on my first point here and just make sure this rest on the the bottom part of the shape here all right so then i'm going to convert this to uh, a selection by clicking on this button here and i'm going to select the okay button i'll make this visible now and add the layer max to the layer and i'm going to hit ctrl i to reverse the mask all right so let's add our next image so i'm going to drag that from here and drop like so and i'm going to reduce the size of this so I hit the enter key and this should be behind the layer of the lady all right i'm going to hide this and i'm going to um, use the magic wand here all right to just pick this color now make sure you're on the layer of the background when doing this i'm just going to click on this color here and let's see if i make this visible yeah this is okay so what i'm going to do is to just use the lasso tool to just add more selection to the marquee that we created with the magic wand all right so i'm going to select the layer of my character here and make this visible so i'm going to hold on alt and click on the layer mask icon to cut out that part from our character so i'm going to do the same move again by dragging and dropping here all right and i'm going to reduce the size of the image and this should be here i'm going to make this a little small and this should be somewhere here we will hit the enter key and this should be behind this layer all right okay then i'm going to hide the layer again hide this layer and then select the magic one too and then make sure you're on the layer of the background and i'm going to click on this shape here and i'm going to make this visible again then select the polygonal lasso tool and i'm going to hold on shift and just add more selection to this all right and i'm going to go back to the layer of my character here i'm going to hold on alt and add the layer max to it all right then i'm going to drag and drop our next image here So then I'm going to put everything here in a group. All right. Then we are going to add the black and white adjustment to it. So I'm going to click on the black and white adjustment. Now this is affecting the entire project, which is not okay at all. So I'm going to click on the clip icon because I only want this to affect the layer of my characters here. So I'm going to move this out like so. And um, so I'm going to just move this up a bit also. Then for the layer of, for the group, folder of my characters here i'm going to call this characters all right i'm going to give it a name and i'm going to activate curve adjustment on the layer and i'm going to just create the x curve just so as to create what i call that here all right so i'm going to just move this here and i'm going to make the tv layer visible then um yeah let's see what we have so far this is beautiful so i'm going to just move this here i'm going to put my text here all right so i'm going to just copy and paste that here now the reason why our text is not visible is because our text is clipped to the character folder all right so we need to drag this out so i'm going to just drag this and drop here to make it visible and it's still not visible so we need to unclip this so make sure my mouse is placed in between the text layer and the black and white layer so i'm going to hold on alt till i see this the arrow facing down with the slash and the box all right, and I'm going to just click to unclip the layer, all right? So I'm going to activate the free transform now and just make this bigger, all right? So for those of you that care to know the font that I use here is called Kick Hornet. I'm going to right click on my free transform here and then select skill. Then I'm going to move this up a bit and I'm going to hit the enter key. So then I'm going to copy the next text, which is music. And I'm going to just paste that here all right then i'm going to change this to marriott i'm going to use this to have a marriott here and i'll change this to cap activate the free transform and just put this here this should be here i'll select the pen tool make sure your option here is set to shape all right 
So I'm just going to click here and just draw uh, a line right there and just turn this off and change this to um, black. All right. And I'm going to make this 1.8. All right. This is good. So I'm going to put the day, paste that. And this time I'm going to use euro style. All right. So I'm going to hit E U R O. This is right here. Position this here. I'll make a copy of this and this should be right here. And I'm going to put the time. So I'll place that here. Like so. So I'm going to close the tracking of this. Because I only want this to align with the day. All right. So I'm going to move this up here like so. And then I'm going to select the two layers and just change the color of this to this color here. All right. So I'm going to make this uh, a bit brighter and I'm going to put this in a group. All right. So I'm going to shift select all the layers and hit control G to put that in a group. And I'm going to call this day and Auburn. All right. Then I'm going to, I'm going to hold down control and click on the layer of the background and make this be at the center of my frame. All right. So let's zoom out and this is what we have. All right, then I'm going to put the name of my characters here. All right, so but I'm going to be very fast with this. All right, but um, the font I'm still going to use is still going to be the same font I use here. So I'm going to use um, arrow style for the name and the time is going to be uh, Marriott Pro, like I use it here. All right, so, uh, when I was putting names, I realized that um, the picture of me, of this my subject here is too uh, overexposed, all right? So we need to fix that. And I am sure this is from the curve adjustment here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the layer mask of the curve layer and I'm going to select the brush tool. Now make sure that your foreground is set to black like mine and make sure under your brush settings, you have this soft round brush selected. And if you can't find your um, brush setting tab, simply select F5 on your keyboard or you can go to Windows and activate it here. All right. So I'm going to zoom in now and I don't want this. I don't want the curve on this dude here. So I'm just going to now make sure your flow is set to 100 when doing this. All right. So I'm just going to apply my brush to the layer. Now you see we're beginning to see the uh, face of our subject where we want it. All right. So this is what we have now. So the last part here is to hide all these layers. All right. And I'm going to stamp visible the project by holding on Ctrl Shift Alt and E. And I'm going to convert this to a smart object just in case I notice the sharp um, filter is too strong on the um, layer, right? Because we're about to apply sharp filter now. So I'll go to filter now and go to sharpen and select smart sharpen. I'm going to select the OK button. All right. So there's a problem here, guys. Um, my subject here is overlapping on the TV screen and this is not OK. So I'm going to hide this and this TV screen should be above the layer. All right. So we're going to do the stamp visible thing again. So I'm going to hold on Ctrl Shift, Alt and E and I'm going to convert this to a smart object. Now, this time we don't even need to go to the smart object settings. Just go to filter here and just click on the smart option here and then you have the um, smart setting option here. So well, I'm just going to make leave every other setting the way uh, they are. All right. And I'm going to select the OK uh, button. Then I'm going to make every other thing, you know, visible or the layers visible. And um, we don't need this. All right. So this is the final project. And this is where we are going to stop. I'm glad you made it to the end of this tutorial. If you're able to achieve any project with the help of this tutorial, simply post it on your Instagram account. And remember to tag me. My Instagram handle is at Caesar Graphics. And if there's anything you learn from this video, simply post it in the comment section. If you have not subscribed, remember to hit the subscribe button and remember to click the post notification bell so you get notified when I post my tutorials. Share, like, and I'll see you again in the next one. Peace.